Hello friends and welcome you all back to the channel. Happy to see you all once again in another Clash of Titans video. So today we are going to play Quill and in Jungle. So this is also a suggested video by many of you guys. So I am making this and uh, with the tips and tricks for Quillen and also I will explain you about his abilities and everything. So first let us start off with his passive. So whenever you hit an enemy from their backside, you will have a 100% critical chance. So if you attack an enemy from the front, it is like a 0% critical chance. So you have to go back of the enemies or any target and if you attack them, you will have a 100% critical chance as you see for the sage buff. So in the front, uh, I attacked and there is 0 critical and if I go back and attack, there is uh, every attack I deal is a critical damage. So his S1 deals uh, continuous damage, so a series of damage like it is the 80% of his normal attack and so I think so. so um, like his second ability is a dash which uh, is used when you hit an enemy from the front you can use the S2 to go backside of the enemy and uh, attack them. When you use your S2 there will be a mark uh, shown in the head of the target. So wait I will show you. So see when I use my S2 there will be a mark shown right. So if I uh, hit the target with that mark uh, with my normal attacks then my uh, cooldown reduction of my S2 is reduced by 1 second. So it is also very good for him guys. His ultimate restores some of his HP and gives him invisibility so it will be best for engaging. So here we have just cleared our waves and come to the mid lane and we try to attack their Telanas but uh, their jungler and uh, everyone is here so that we can't jump inside them because you would actually die there and here scud is having a very low life and we just kill him very easily and this is the thing you have to do in the early games guys so uh, in the early games quillen's damage is will be very low so you shouldn't uh, attack the enemy with a full hp so you have to wait for your teammates to reduce their HP to like half or below half. So at that time you can easily go uh, the, go there and uh, finish them off in the early games. So after that in the middle game and in the late games you can get around like uh, 3 to 4 uh, equipments then your damage will be pretty good and decent. So with that damage you can uh, finish them off easily even though if they have full HP so don't try to attack the tanks with uh, Quillen guys it is the worst thing to do so you have to target only the squishy heroes with Quillen so this time I'm going for Leviathan jungle for Quillen because of the enemy team so Ras can one shot me uh, Telnas can one shot me also they are scud so everyone, each and everyone in their team can one shot me if I was not a little tanky. So I am just uh, getting Leviathan to pretend like I was tanky. So as we can see we have cleared our blue buff and uh, in the top lane their uh, mage and uh, marksman are there. Their support and jungler are in the bottom lane and I don't know where is their uh, DS laner. I know you are wondering that uh, I said that this is a comeback gameplay and uh, this is like a one-sided gameplay don't worry guys at first it is like a, a one-sided gameplay but after some times it will turn around uh, some tides and it will be very easy for the enemy team to kill our squishies because uh, in our team most of our heroes are squishies so lumber just tried to uh, pick a fight with our team and uh, kill our mage but it didn't happen so here uh, we are just trying to get some kills but uh, so here Ras is standing away from the uh, from his teammate so we can try to kill him and I think we can kill him yeah we have extra gold than him so here I just uh, tricked uh, Nakroth of going there and came here so that uh, we can easily dodge his ultimates or else he could have killed me easily you shouldn't try this uh, if he has equal gold or more gold than you. 
so the nacroth or uh, their nacroth is also nearby but he didn't uh, wanted to show up uh, in the early so i just managed to kill him easily so here i thought scud will be there and i perfectly go there and assassinate him and came back uh, alive and now my blue buff is up again so i need to clear my jungle and i was a little late for the jungle because of the some fighting in the bottom middle lanes and uh, again my teammates are getting into a fight without me but i think they yeah so uh, our mates died very easily and here i am just targeting the marksmen so that uh, they will uh, lack some heroes to get their towers so it will be easy guys if you take out the marksmen or high damage dealers i mean high attack damage dealers so that uh, you can secure the tower very very easily here uh, i know ras was standing in that brush so i just targeted him and uh, he is the squishy hero at this time because why uh, telnas was already dead and uh, she will be respawning and coming to this lane to save the lane and uh, so ras is the only squishy hero so if i kill him then uh, others will be tanky and my team other teammates will try to kill them so here telnas is little over extended but i tried to kill her but my teammates didn't uh, cooperated so if uh, gaffney just uh, came there one second uh, before then i could have killed her here lumber used his vision item so that uh, the enemy team just saw me and it was a perfect i mean it was a very bad engage there by me i won't say it is a bad engage because i just targeted uh, their squishy heroes with a little one hp like it is i think uh, it he is not a squishy hero but he is in one hp so that if i kill him then it would be a very good gold for me and our team so i just tried it and but it ended in failure so i have my first shutdown with 8 kills and it would be like 800 gold whoever killed me and also the enemy teams uh, other heroes gave some assist it will be uh, given some assist to, to them so it is like around uh, 1000 gold for free 1000 free gold for the team so that's why i am saying guys if you have a legendary please go and die in a tower like execute yourself then uh, there is no there will be no shutdown for you and uh, it is the perfect thing to do guys and i tried it once but if they fixed it now then it will be very i mean it will not be useful so we just uh, focusing on farming right now because the enemy team like tanky heroes are there and i am just buying uh, so every time with quillen i will go for uh, rank breaker but this time i will go for uh, muramasa because of the enemy to tanks there are two tanks in the enemy team and also i first thought that uh, nacroth will go for uh, leviathan 2 because of the damages in our team but he didn't he just went for soul reaver so it's his choice and here now uh, again i am going to target their telanas and yeah he got her but i didn't got her uh so it was a perfect engage guys we got one kill and also uh, lumber used his vision item on to him so it will be like uh, 30 seconds for its uh, cooldown if we get to any team fights before 40 seconds i mean 30 seconds then uh, we can easily take out their uh, squishies by being invisible and here nacroth is in the top lane so i am just going for the no i didn't go for the blue buff but i am going for taking the tower so all the enemies are in the top lane and uh, now they are recalling and coming back so i think my blue buff is up. okay my blue buff is there so no problem my teammates just uh, tried uh, saved it but in this match my teammates is also doing pretty well uh, even though it is a solo queue match uh, i got pretty good teammates the only thing uh, default is that uh, they will fight without me that is the only thing i hate uh, with them or else uh, everything is good so if they fight when i am there then i will be uh, it will be easy for me to take their uh, marksman and uh, mage then after that 
others will be very easy for my team to take off so they are not doing that so just now i bought my leviathan and uh, here scud is just trying to attack or one of our teammates so we are just ganking on him and we got the kill to him so i thought yeah telanus was there i i saw her first and i thought of attacking at first uh, but uh, scud was uh, jumping here and there so i got triggered and killed him first so uh, in this situation uh, you can go for uh, better marksman in the safe side guys so if you have to be placed safe you can go for marksman so if you target the tanks fighting in front of you and you ignore your marks ignore the enemy marksman then they can kill you very 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 easily so there will be no chance of uh, killing and uh, getting out of the team fight so it will be very hard for you so now i am getting some extra gold and uh, now we can try to attack the abyssal dragon and it was not g going to happen because the enemy team is here and telanus is in that brush okay i should have targeted telanus uh, instead of nacroth i thought she is having his uh, she is having her talent to escape so i so i just uh, targeting their nacroth so we got the kill to nacroth and uh, again we are going to try and attack the abyssal dragon because in this match i didn't uh, get any objectives like abyssal dragon or uh, ds laner i mean ds uh, dragon here ras was waiting for me perfectly in that brush for a long long time and here if there is no lumber i could have killed him very easily and uh, they were reporting about their uh, marksman as trash but he is uh, playing pretty good but the only thing is i am targeting him and uh, he is not aware of that yeah he is aware of that but he is not uh, like what to say he is not doing anything for that so my teammates are trying to save the blue buff but now he she is trying to take this blue buff and i think uh, yeah so omega is dead and this is the thing i said guys they will fight without me and uh, lose their team fight without me and here now it is the perfect time for me so their marksman is here and see i just targeted their marksman and came back so here i first didn't use my ultimate so just use my s2 to come out so we can use the ultimate for any other purpose so here i don't know that nacroth was standing there and he just uh, killed me easily if i was in uh, full hp i could have killed him easily but uh, i was in half hp already and he just uh, killed me this is because of his gold lead and his attack damage he is also a little high his attack speed is also high and uh, i have never played the nacroth for a very long time after this updated patch i want to try him too so okay my teammates are uh, just defending the towers and uh, so the abyssal dragon and uh, dark slayer are free from enemies no one is attacking them and here ras is trying to kill our i mean tried yeah he tried to kill our mage but uh, she escaped and our support just uh, poked him a little bit and uh, now back to the fight guys and in the middle game i mean in the middle lane there are some minions pushing so after uh, attacking the minions i just saw their marksman if i seen her before then i would have jumped on her and killed her first so you have to wait for the perfect time to engage in the late games guys if you throw uh, in the late games then it will be the end of it so finally our teammates get rid of that frog jumping here and there and uh, i mean nacroth sorry uh, i was little uh, okay uh, so minions are pushing in the top lane so i just came to clear it and my teammates are uh, picking up a fight in the bottom lane so we have uh, like three heroes and the enemy team have also three heroes in there so i said to retreat but no one cares i think they got uh, killed to lumber so they are in uh, like a pride so now i think they are going to die so here it is the perfect uh, place for me so their marksman was dead and uh, here is scud is dead and this is the payback time for uh, ras 
so we got a triple kill to them and uh, i think we will try to take the middle tower but uh, someone is already there and uh, okay so uv should have used her s2 instead of her s1 if she used her s2 then she could have killed nacroth but uh, it is the wrong thing she did because of the range he killed me pretty easily because i went in there uh, with my ultimate so there is no ultimate for escaping and also i didn't uh, have my abilities i used them on the sage buff and it is a very bad thing guys you shouldn't uh, waste your uh, abilities like that when you are going to invade in the enemy area so anything can happen so maybe one can jump on you maybe two can jump on you or maybe even the whole team can jump on you so anything can happen so do, don't use your uh, abilities unnecessarily so here uh, nacroth is trying to kill our mage and uh, i think he will be successful but yeah he was unsuccessful but their mage was i mean their marksman was successful so they got our uh, ds laner and our mage so i am just uh, going for our i mean their marksman but uh, ras pushed me uh, to another side so i just have to target uh, him so this is the thing i am saying guys so if you don't attack their marksman first this will happen so if you go in and fight and everything will uh, go off like planned but uh, the only thing she will deal a lot of damage standing back of the enemy team and uh, can crush you very easily so i think uh, the middle lane will go pretty easily because nacroth and uh, telanus is also there and yeah the middle lane is lost so i think now we are uh, teammates can clear the wave so yeah you we just push the minions out of the range of the tower and now uh, lumber is going there and uh, here talon has just overextended and she is dead so we got a shutdown to their marksman so it is pretty good in the late games because she will sleep around like 45 seconds so it is enough time to secure the objectives and end the games and here scud is pushing in the bottom lane so i have to wait here to clear the wave or else he can go to the altar no not the altar he will go for the core so yeah we just got the abyssal i mean dark slayer which is a very good thing after 15 minutes so 15 minutes slayer is like op op guy and we got it and now they are just poking us i think no i 100% assure you that they were standing there uh, waiting for us i mean like they are camping for me so i just came there very perfect at the perfect time and uh, but even though my teammates are also there so i just uh, managed to escape a little bit and here i saw ras in the middle lane and i went for him and it was a bad opinion i mean it is the bad thing to do guys so here i died uh, without doing anything and it is the worst thing so i think our mage will die too no yeah yeah our mage died so the only guys are their ma our marksman and uh, support so no in the middle lane emily is also there and she is awake and she, i think she killed telanus yeah so telanus is died and uh, the only guy who can take the tower in the enemy team is nacroth so i think i will be the first one to arrive in the altar because i died first so being a marksman and dying first is not a very good thing guys uh, but i died uh, that time see this is the changing of history guys even though we had the infinity slayer uh, we managed to lost the slayer and uh, went on for the defeat and here nacroth just tried to kill me but instead i think i will kill him yeah i just killed him and uh, now only their uh, mage and uh, support is there so they can't deal a lot of damage to the tower and they can't easily take that oh, now my teammates are arrived and no problem so i just saying the our mm to play safe 
because uh, she was the first one to die to ras or somebody like nakroth or everyone so she is not uh, making her positions right she is just standing at the back of uh, our tank that is the only thing she is doing uh, but she have to position well or else uh, we would tend to lose the team fights so i see telanus in the mid lane so i should uh, after waking up i should go there and let's see my teammates are just uh, trying to get some kills before that but uh, we are losing oh my god we are losing the team fights i don't know what they are doing there if it goes like this then we will lose for sure so finally after one death uh, my teammates just uh, thought of retreating that is the perfect thing to do so omega is in yeah he is in uh, 70% of hp so no problem we can fight now and here nakrot is trying i don't know he is trying to poke us i think she he just trying to check uh, whether there is anyone in the brush but instead uh, he just came in altered on us and something he did so here see ras is trying to attack our mage and marksman coming from the back but uh, i got the vision to him i don't know i how i get it but we got it so we just kill him very easily so their damage dealers i mean their mage and marksman is not there so it will be perfect uh, time for a team fight so you we can easily win the team fight and uh, end the match quickly as soon as possible before they arrive so telanus damage is very irritating in the late game guys she can just uh, stand at a very like a very safe range and she can deal a lot of damage here i was trying to kill their yeah we kill their uh, two of their heroes and we are ending the match so this is uh, this may not look like a comeback gameplay but when i played this game it is like a hell i was uh, for more than two or three times i thought i was going we are going to lose but after that we should win uh, i thought we should win and uh, we won the match so even though we are stealing some kills here and there uh, we dealt around uh, 20 percentage of damage so we got the mvp and uh, our marksman dealt the most of the damage and uh, that's all for today's video guys so this is a catch casual match and quillen is not good for a team like this because uh, he can easily kill uh, telanus but not the other guys so this is a perfect uh, bad pick against uh, quillen so more tanks and everything is like hell and so if there is many squishies in the enemy team then the, it will be a very good match making for a uh, quillen so try to avoid picking him against a tanky team guys hope you all enjoyed it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends also do not forget to subscribe the channel see you all in the next video until then bye bye and have a great day friends